unfortunately that's all the time we have for you guys tonight we'll see you next time same time same place keep playing out there new arc it wasn't even that funny if you think you can do better how come you never go to pitch if you think you're so funny how come you never come to pitch Ugh. all right guys next pitch is november 17th so if you have any ideas for our finale be sure to come to toss all right, guys, thanks so much for coming to pitch. I guess we'll start with Ava over here. I had team. a great idea, guys. So I know in the last episode, you guys had that one with, like, the guy and the chicken that he was obsessed with. But what if the chicken was alive? Wouldn't that be illegal? I don't know if bi-weekly could get away with that. Do you have any other ideas? Well, no. That's kind of all I came up with for this episode. Oh, don't worry. There's always next season. Time to unwind after this long and stressful day. Oh. God, I can't believe I ever gave that stupid show a chance. how unfunny my script was again i'm the ghost of bi-weekly past bitch and yeah your pitches really suck this week really i mean this is kind of a bit extra listen man just because you started a podcast that didn't take off doesn't mean you have to be a dick about it what how do you even know about that i'm the ghost of bi-weekly past i know everything like that one time that you found the vintage cut out of your grandma and thought it was in playboy okay we get it i've done a lot of embarrassing things in the past not just in the past you embarrass yourself a lot. I mean, look at your outfit. A, a nightgown and a cap? I mean, what is it, the 17th century? Where the fuck did you come from? I'm the ghost of bi-weekly present. I mean, did you not get it the first time Charlotte explained it to you? Jeez, she's unfunny and dumb. Yikes. Okay, I'm unfunny, dumb, and embarrassing. We get it, but you guys are breaking and entering. I mean, I should call the cops. Where's your holiday spirit? You know, this reminds me of that one time you came to the show and you laughed so hard you started crying and then you shit your pants. Now that was funny. Is the whole point of you guys being here just to belittle my existence or? Think of it more as a warning. If you don't stop being so rude to everyone, you're just gonna embarrass yourself a lot more. I mean, I don't think I'm that rude. I'm the life of the party and I'm beloved by all. Well, I don't think I'm that annoying to be around. Remember your ex-girlfriend who dumped you over text because she was moving off the grid and wouldn't be able to talk to you? Yeah. She still lives two minutes down the street. She just needed an out. Okay, so my ex-girlfriend doesn't like me. Big deal. That doesn't mean everybody doesn't like me. Well, what the fuck are you- Let me guess. You're the ghost of bi-weekly future. Exactly, exactly. I'm here to show you what your future will look like if you keep being an annoying little bitch. Wait, are you here to tell me I'm gonna be a loser in the future too? Yep. yep. Wait, seriously? Yeah, man. It doesn't get much better for you. Honestly, it kind of just gets worse. Wait, so are you saying I'm always gonna be a loser? Unfortunately. Okay, but what if I change? You know, become a good person, stop being a fool of myself? Dude, you drank your mother's breast milk until you were 12. There is no coming back from that. Fuck! Listen, I'm sure this is a lot to process for you, so we'll just head out now. Yeah, yeah. She actually thought we were ghosts. Idiot. Yeah, you really were lying when you said she was dumb. Merry Christmas to us! Merry Christmas to us.